observability and tracing. Uh, okay, so we had some discussions about like what traces are versus events, for example. So um, we came to the conclusion that traces are something with a context. It's just not just a single da data point, but actually something that you can understand. And we talked about like aggregated traces, so what can you actually learn from the data. And eventually the things that we found out to be the most interesting is like, first of all, traces are something that you need to um, use for your, like, your own needs. So basically you need traces to understand com complex problems uh, as opposed to, for example, a list of logs, which are just uh, much more basic and for complex problems, tr traces can be very useful. And we talked about the fact that tracing experts are kind of a rare resource and something that can help is def actually using different tools that are more accessible to other people as well, such as developers and different frameworks. So for example, uh, open tracing makes it easier for people to do tracing without the need of some kind of expertise. And also something that we discussed was sampling. So sampling is used when you have limited bandwidth, you have limited um, storage or anything that needs to analyze the data. So deciding how much you want to sample so something that came up is that uh, you can decide it based on your maximum capacity, but also based on the, you need some minimum amount of events to have different insights. So for example, if you can detect anomalies in the data that is sampled, it means that it's interesting. So the sampling rate is good. And eventually when you do uh, want to implement tracing in your uh, organization, the first thing you need to think about is like, what am I hoping to achieve? It's not just, you don't do it for fun, it's a complicated process, so before you go in and rush and like implement it everywhere, you need to think what the goals are and then try to choose the right tools and frameworks to make it much more easier and automated, if possible, across the organization. Yeah, that's it. 